Well, tonight, a missing Overland Park teen is safe. Police found 16-year-old Jordan Stewart in California at a San Diego SeaWorld. She was with her stepfather, Patrick Porter. Federal prosecutors charged him with one count of possession of child pornography and one count of attempting to coerce a minor to have sex with him. San Diego police also found Porter's Ford Expedition at SeaWorld and seized it. They say Porter and his stepdaughter were staying at this San Diego motel. A woman staying at the motel walked out of her room to see the police swarming the place. Well, it's scary because I have three older daughters now, but I also have a granddaughter, and you just fear that... You don't know what the situation was, and I actually wanted to get away from the situation, not knowing for sure if the guy was around or not. So it's scary when you have children and grandchildren. Police were able to track where Porter used his cell phone and credit cards, which led them to California. Oh, tonight, Jordan's biological father is anxious to see her for the first time in years. Larry Stewart, Larry Seward says Porter manipulated Jordan and turned her against him. Larry Seward is here with new details. Elizabeth, NBC Action News approached Jordan's mom for an interview today. She refused, but her ex-husband is talking. He's upset with what Jordan, with, with, with what happened to Jordan. At the same time, he's relieved. I'm just amazed, happy, just pleased that, you know, they found her. Larry Stewart has not seen his 16-year-old daughter Jordan in five years. Court orders prevented. Still, he wants to know... Is she okay? Tonight, Jordan is in California in police care with her stepfather, 39-year-old Patrick Porter. Police say last Thursday, Porter, Jordan, and Jordan's mom met outside this Overland Park Walmart in the parking lot discussing family matters. Porter and Jordan left in this SUV. Then for six days, she never called, emailed, or contacted anyone, and Jordan's mom never reported her missing. Instead, Instead, police were looking for Jordan. They wanted to talk to her about her stepfather. I can tell you that uh, this father is manipulative, very controlling, and uh, very influential on this girl. This is the kind of guy that, uh, for a variety of reasons, this girl should not be with. Today, federal prosecutors indicted Patrick Porter for child sex crimes, including possessing child porn and attempting to coerce a minor to have sex with him. I'm kind of shocked that we didn't hear anything about it. Allegations shocked neighbors and stunned Jordan's biological father. He says Porter refused to let Jordan call or email. His cell phone was the only real communication I had, so I always had to talk to him and would try to set up some type of meeting and the day we were supposed to have the meeting he would always call and say something came up. Now that Porter possibly faces years in federal prison, Stewart hopes to finally see his daughter again. Now, if convicted here of child sex crimes, Patrick Porter is looking at 10 years to life behind bars. As for Jordan Stewart, police says she will come home to live with an unidentified relative. Jordan was put in that relative's care shortly before she disappeared. Larry Seward, NBC Action News.